Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hattrick with me, Alpha Pile Manga. After a bit of a hassle with uh, the weekends and so on as I was uh, out last week, we're back to the original channel and I'm happy to say that I got great news for you guys today. So let's start right from the most important one which is the end of the series. So the last match that we played was uh, a draw. We played and ended up 3-3, uh, three three, which put us, thank God, to the fourth place. You can actually see it here because it's uh, already too late, I think. So let me see if I can see this history. Uh, there used to be... Nope. Uh, there used to be a way how to do all series tables here. Okay, so this is it. So we ended up uh, fourth with 22 points. Uh, we had the same as the third guy and uh, the fifth guy, but uh, we had some extra goals for goals against results. So we ended up in the middle with uh, eight points. I don't know what these are. Uh, go for us, go against, I guess. Uh, that actually put us to a uh, last rank place, which makes me happy. We, you know, that was my original target and we ended there. So I feel good for that. Now we have two newcomers. We have uh, DC Batman Heroes and Olympic Prague coming to our series. So let's see who these guys are. Uh, oh god, these guys look really good. 2,282 members. Gotham Cave, and these guys, yeah, these guys have a lot of, oh god, I guess, uh, club history, are they like demoted or something? The team was directly promoted, was knocked out, uh, finishes number two, okay, he was knocked out. Was directed demoted. Okay, so they were promoted to the fifth one, then they were demoted, and then they were promoted again. So they had the same uh, series um, history as we did. And what about you guys? Okay, directed demoted from uh, finishes number one. Okay, so they were promoted, then they were demoted, and now they are promoted again. So all of these teams have the same history as I did. Damn. So that puts them in a really good position, I would say. Well, uh, we'll see. And as it turns out, I think uh, Aztec Severov, who ended up first, uh, didn't really make it. Can we see their matches? Did they have a qualifier match? Yeah, they did, and they lost. Okay, 2-0. Two, two okay, so no one got promoted. We lost two guys, and we got two more guys for the next series. Uh, there's a lot of people for sale here. I guess they're gonna be as terrible as they are usually, but let's check them out. Uh, we're not in a hurry. So, let's see who's selling. I mean, the first guys are about Erwin Juncker and then Olympic Prague, which is the new team. Yeah, these guys are horrible. Horrible. All of them. Okay, and these are from Olympic Prague. Uh, not a bad keeper. This one's like good midfielder, actually a great defender, extraterrestrial, this guy might sell, yeah he's already selling, someone is buying him, uh, his potential, yeah it's fairly low, he won't get very high up, but having 16 and defending, you know, not a bad guy, and this guy, probably an average forward, okay. So uh, no one interesting being sold right now, I, I really don't understand how how our uh, competitors work with their uh, um, youth teams, it, it seems weird to me, but okay. Maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong, you know? That might always be the possibility. They're the ones who know what they're doing, and I'm not. Anyway, uh, transfers, 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 transfers. Uh, we bought a new player, and we sold the player. So, Philip Chirolens was sold for whooping... 221 million Czech crowns, which is about five and a half, five and a half million euros. Uh, it's not the best result we have. Uh, we sold Karol Bartoviak for more, uh, as a keeper. What the fuck? In a midfielder and keeper. Are they training him in defending? Maybe. 
Uh, Weird. <laughs> you want to turn into a keeper? I, I don't know. And uh, yeah, other than that, I think that's our number two sale of all time. So we sold him for 221 million uh, and we bought Jesus Salvador v- uh, Vidiela. Uh, he's not bad. We bought him for about an average, you know, uh, slightly more than a median and slightly less than an average. We bought him for 187.5 million Czech crowns, which is about 4.7 million euros. He's going to be uh, a good guy, I think, uh, because he's fairly young. He's 24, he's quick, and he has a world-class defending and winger. So as you probably guessed, he's going to be our back wing. Uh, His playmaking isn't bad either, so I think he might catch up uh, some more levels as we progress. So that's a good thing for us too. So Jesus is the new, new guy. Now that puts us in a fairly shitty situation. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Uh, this is uh, this is the youth team. We're gonna deal with that in a second. But if we go to this, uh, this is our original. Actually, no, wait. I saved it already. Uh, default standard. Yeah. So this is our new um, A team. We have. Konrad Pielech and Jean Martinez as the strong guys. And we have Daniel Kiako in the middle, um, which, remember, is our uh, U20 future guy. He has a brilliant playmaking. He was promoted, um, or his level uh, got up this week. So he has a brilliant playmaking now. And he doesn't have a bad winger skill or passing. So Konrad Pielech, uh, Jean Martinez, and Daniel Kiako are our three best uh, playmakers. Uh, but we dropped quite a lot. If you see, uh, or if you look here, Konrad Pielek has a world-class playmaking. Uh, Zdenia Kako has uh, Brilliant. And uh, Jean Martin is Supernatural. So they're not all that strong. We have uh, Olivier Crochar in uh, at the wing. And we have uh, A. Monteiro at the wing. So they're going to get better. Actually, uh, Ahmond Taylor has Brilliant already and Crochar has... Excellent. Okay, so he's he needs to get better. Uh, but overall, this is not as good as we used to. We have a midfield of inadequate um, rating. Our defense, though, is just out of this world. We have world-class defense, uh, central defense and right defense, and our left defense is magnificent. So it's actually pretty incredible. And our right and left attack is also very strong. So I was actually thinking that we might look together on the strategy that I never used before. And that is uh, uh, the attack on the wings. Because for us, I think... Yeah, attack on wings. That's a, one of the um, uh, tactics, not strategies, that you can use. So advantage, around 20 to 40% of your central attacks will be converted to wink attacks. Your central defense gets somewhat worse. Oh. And the total passing skill of all your outfield players determine your attack on wings tactical skill. Whenever an attack is switched from the middle to the wings, it is shown in the match report. Uh, I don't know if this is worth. We don't really have high passing. This, by the way, one of the things that I was thinking that we might want to work on because we have outstanding and excellent and excellent and then solid and then it goes to hell. So passing training might be actually pretty good for our team Uh, eventually. I'm thinking that might be the way to go. So anyway, uh, what I'm trying to show you guys here is that, uh, for example, with Erwin Junke, we had midfield of solid high. And now we have, uh, I think, inadequate low. Yeah, inadequate low. That should be it. So our midfield, the most important part of your team's performance has dropped a lot. But, you know, it had to be done. There really isn't much else to say about that. It had to be done. So that's what we are doing now. But the team is staying strong. We, I'm especially very happy about uh, Konrad Pielech. And Jean Martinez is strong as well. Though he's going to be uh, level 15 in playmaking very soon, I believe. 
Is that new Kaku though? Is uh, our brand new guy? And look at that. He's 18, which is what uh, most teams are selling their youth players at. And, you know, look at these skills. So he's pretty good. I actually think he's he could sell really good right now. So let's check it out. Let's check it out together. So Mateusz Didik and Tomasz Matsig are our trainees and Zdenikako is here. Transfer compare. Yeah, 89 million. So he could make us a lot of money right now. Which could be good. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, not now anyway. And what about you? 17 and 18. Ah, uh, well. You could still sell. Oh. <laughs> well. Maybe not. Uh, they could. Let's give them a, a bit more time. They still have very high potential, both of them. So I believe in them. They will get better eventually. Okay, so that's our situation for the next series. We got defenses up and we got our attack better. So that makes me really happy. Now, fans are high on life. Uh, as they said, a mid-table finish is nice. I think that might be for the next season already. Uh... A mid table finish is nice, yeah. I think that's the same same as we had before. Uh, we finally got over 2,200 uh, members. They already paid us uh, their membership fees. Uh, yeah, your fans paid their annual fees. So they paid us uh, 2.6 million check rounds, about 67,000 euros. Here you can see that we received uh, 205 million point six thousand uh 205.6 million, that's what I wanted to say, check rounds for uh, our player sale, 5.15 million euros, and we paid 187.5 million uh, for the new player. So, financially, we are doing very well. We have a big cushion, uh, about 1.2 million euros, 48.8 uh, 48.5 million uh, check rounds, which is 1.2 million euros and I you know generally doing fine in that uh, manner. We increased the stadium uh, recently so we are now at total capacity of 40.7 thousand. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, the stadium will fill because it will increase our overall revenue. We need more money. You, know, you can see why. Okay uh, I guess that's uh, all that race to the senior team with one exception uh we play the match now because the youth teams are now back at it and Franciszek Reichmann finally got his shit up and defending up to solid so what we're gonna do is we're gonna promote him now which we wanted to do for a long time and see that he's not actually bad passing and scoring of inadequate defending of solid he's a bit old but look at that potential that's really good he doesn't have a specialty though, which sucks, really. Yeah, we could sell him now, even now, for fairly good money, but I'm not gonna. Uh, you, my friend, are gonna go to the friendlies, and you are going to be there instead of Zdeniek Jako, who is now in the A team. So, Francis Greichmann, Matthias Dudik, and uh, Tomasz Matsik are now our trainees. So that is what we shall do. I'm happy. Now, other players haven't really uh, done much, but we found out that uh, Miroslav Mazor could have a defending of solid, but that really isn't all that good because he can be promoted in 90 days. Uh, but Olje Kozar, our next uh, really good defender, can be uh, promoted in 20 days. So I think I might get rid of one of the... B team players and put Oji Kozar instead of them. That would probably be, I guess, Matias Dunik could be sold. Yeah, he could sell for four million. No one bought him though. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We still have uh, about three weeks before we have to cross that bridge. Uh, but I want uh, Olji Kozar in our team too. He has a solid and probably a really high passing too. Uh, Miroslav Mazor, too bad he's so old. When he's ready to go, we will be 
Oregon. Yeah, and there's no one with a special day left. I think we're actually down to 11 players. Is that possible? Uh, no. Okay. And Mazor, uh, Simon H. And the Mazor. And a Herman. Ah, you can go in the midfield. And you here. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. Um, you're, you're not really good. Actually, no, we have Depp, Padjelik there, and this guy is terrible. Andrava. Okay, he's not a good defender, so Mazor can play. And Bronets. How old are you? 16 and 60 days. We don't know what kind of defending he has. We know that Oldrich Kozar already has a defense uh, really high, so... Let's put Kozar here. Put Bronets in there. Was that Bronets? Yeah, we don't... I think this guy is gonna be terrible, but... And we need Kozar in the play, so I'm gonna put... Yeah, Borovka is bad, really, too, so... Let's put Kozar in there. So we have Padjelek who is... I'm gonna fire him, he's useless. And Borovka, which we don't know much about. Uh, so let's make this the standard setup. And who did I want to fire? I think it was Padjelek. Yeah, Padjelek. He doesn't have anything and he's not good for anything. So that Padjelek is out. Oh, he has a special day. Damn. Oh, that's painful. Winger of inadequate. Oh, that sucks. He has a special day. I don't know if he's worth anything. He doesn't have any skills. I guess I'll keep him, but his playmaking could be, for for example, oh, horrifying. <laughs> oh, winger, winger, wow. I don't know. Let's, let's check for how much he would sell. He's 17. 17 and, say, 20 days. He has winger of inadequate, and if he had the highest... Highest possible playmaking of a week. I don't even know if the game will rank him in passing of week. And he has a powerful specialty. Ingor Richter, yeah, he's about the same. Something Hmm. Where's this guy? I don't know if this is worth. I'll, I'll keep him, but we might... Well, we, we can promote him and try to sell him next week, but I don't really know if that is worth our time. But let's look uh, for another player. 16 poor week poor, no. Uh, 16 inadequate poor and weak. Boring, inadequate, poor winger, abilities are weak. What about the 15? Weak defending and weak playmaking. Okay, let's see you. You might get better, and you're at least you're really young. So we have 162 days to make you better. So let's put you in the match already. I'm happy that we got one. Uh, H. Al Mazor. Uh, because Borovka, Pavlu. Oh god, you're so horrible. <laughs> so let's put you as a winger and you will go to the front. Okay. So do we have it? Yeah, Balapchik. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see if there's something in this guy or not. Can we have a friendly? Okay, we can have a friendly. So let's add our team to the pool, check region, any, any. 
Okay, so we'll have a friend do it. An extra friend do it is good because it will give us a bit more uh, training possibilities. Uh, I have turned our uh, training regime to short passes, which will train our inner midfielders, wingers, and forwards uh, in passing. And secondary training will be in playmaking because I really don't know what uh, what to do. I'm hoping that uh, we might improve Oji Kozar a bit. Uh, he might have a high passing, and we don't really know about his playmaking. So we'll see what that does to him. Others will have to just play suit because there really isn't much that they can do otherwise. And I think it will fit this guy too. He's gonna get some training in playmaking and in passing. So we'll see if he's good for anything. Antonio Nandrova we don't know about. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, uh, this was a long video. Damn, uh, a really long one, but a lot of news. I'm happy uh, with the A team and I'm happy with the youth team too. The B team, well, we'll see. The guys are young, we're investing in them sort of uh, as we don't have anyone better to to do. But Franchi Rehman is a good catch. I think he might get really good. Uh, actually, let's see. Uh, Hattrick training tools. Training estimation. Uh, let's check him. He's 17 and 38 days. So he's going to be playmaking at full. He's 17 and what? For the days. Skill level is weak. No sub skill coach level, training in intensity. Yeah, everything seems to be right. So he's gonna get to level 5 in 2.4 weeks, level 6 in 2.6 weeks, uh, level 7 in 3 weeks. So he's before he's 18, he's gonna be at level 8. So higher than his defending skill. Uh, that's really good. He might. Now he doesn't have a specialty, which Zdenek Jakob has. But I was thinking that he might get into the U20 team too, because he has incredible potential. Really, really high potential. Zdenek Jakob's potential right now is 240, and Franciszek Reichmann has a 242. How old is Zdenek Jakob? He's 18 and 96 days. 18. Okay, so he will have, yeah, he'll have the same skill in playmaking at that time. Uh, his winger is worse, but he has defending instead. So that might be even more valuable. But damn, he might really be a catch if we got him to 15. But he doesn't have a specialty. That's the painful part too bad <laughs> it looks so weird anyway uh that's really all from me for now i hope you guys enjoyed uh, a slightly longer video but uh, there was a lot happening so i'm happy i could tell you guys some of the good news financially you know how we are player wise you know how we are so we're ready for the next season so if you guys play and um, you want to let me know then let me know how you guys are doing so till next time, you guys take care.